gastronomy fascinates not only me but many. And my favorite subject in this arena is black hole. A black hole is the extremely massive remnant of a dying star. It is so massive that its gravity prevents anything from escaping. Not even light can escape from a black hole. One cannot directly see a black hole. To see it, one has to observe the influence of its gravitational force on its surroundings. This is the structure of a black hole. This is the singularity, the star, the core of the star which has collapsed on itself and has shrunk to a very small size. This is the event horizon, the boundary of the black hole. Anything falling inside of the event horizon is bound to be captured by the black hole and become part of its mass. This is the accretion disk, the, the gas which is spiraling around the black hole. This is a blue supergiant star and the black hole is pulling a stream of matter, the gas current from the blue supergiant. A black hole is formed when a supergiant star dies in a supernova. First, a protostar is formed from a cloud of interstellar material, also called a nebula. The protostar then heats up and fusion reaction begins. The luminosity of the protostar now increases to several hundred times that of the sun. After that, it cools down and reaches the main sequence. Now the star is in a kind of onion peel structure of elemental layers. The star will then cool down and its luminosity decreases and it starts growing. If the mass of the main sequence star was more than 1.4 times the mass of the sun, then it becomes a supergiant. It then erupts in a supernova and its core collapses. The collapsed core forms the neutron star. If the mass of the main sequence star was more than 3.2 times the mass of the sun, then it results in a black hole. Space-time is like a fabric and every particle of matter, stars, planets, etc. make a dent in this fabric. Suppose this rock is a star. If I put this on the fabric, it makes a dent as you can see. The more massive the particle is, the bigger the dent it makes and the bigger the dent it makes, the higher is its gravity. Similarly, in a black hole, it makes the steepest dent in the fabric of space-time. The matter it is pulling will first slowly rotate it and then fall into the event horizon. It will then become part of the black hole's mass. Now let's discuss some amazing facts about black holes. There are three kinds of black holes. Mini, normal and supermass supermassive ones. Our Milky Way galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, but our Earth is not in any imminent danger of getting swallowed by the black hole because the nearest one is very far away from us. Weird time stuff happens around black holes. This can be best illustrated by one person called Unlucky who falls into the black hole while one person called Lucky watches. From Lucky's time perspective, Unlucky's time clock seems to be ticking slower and slower. This is in accordance with the general theory of relativity. The first black hole was not discovered until X-ray astronomy was first used. This is the model of a spectrometer. It measures relevant spectrum showing frequency, wavelength, mass, momentum and energy. Often questions arise in our mind like, are black holes truly black? The answer is no. Black holes refuse allowing any information to escape into space. But mathematics can reveal the inner secrets of black holes. Thank you everybody. I will remain fascinated by astronomy until new discoveries solve this mystery more and more. Goodbye.